Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Lynch from Annapolis, Maryland. One of the questions I get asked frequently about stellate ganglion block for anxiety or PTSD is, what is this right side versus left side block? I don't understand. Do I need a uh, stellate ganglion block on the right side or the left side or both? How does that work? Um, I'm going to give you the bottom line and then I can tell you the background behind it. But the bottom line is that a two-sided block, meaning a right side followed by a left side, typically performed the next day for safety reasons, is probably more effective for most people than a single side alone. However, a right-sided block performed at two levels, and for me that's typically C6 and C4 levels, um, which is probably more accurately called a cervical sympathetic chain block or a cervical sympathetic block, as opposed to just a stellate ganglion block. Um, so what we're doing is blocking the entire cervical sympathetic chain here and not just at one level. But when performed in that way, the success rate is probably about 85, maybe 90% defined as a 50% drop in your symptoms, whether that's anxiety symptoms as scored on a GAD7 scale or PTSD symptoms scored on a PCL5. Both of these are self-reported tools. Um, that's a big magnitude drop and that's very effective for the vast majority of people. However, there's about a 10, maybe 15% of people in the population who when performed a, a right side block on may only get a small, say a 10% drop in their symptom relief, which is still not bad, but it's really not that robust response we wanna see. If you take that group of what I would call non-responders and perform a block on the left side, about 90% of them have a robust response on the left side. Uh, this is something that we studied and published in an article in the peer-reviewed medical literature in 2021, and has become part of how I practice um, regularly now every day. And I counsel people that there's a, a probably a higher chance of success with a right side block followed by a left side. Although statistically, it would be a reasonable thing to just try a right side block at two levels and see how you do. Uh, that is a reasonable approach and many physicians still perform the uh, approach that way. What I have learned over the years, however, is that it's not as simple as you're either a right side responder or a left side responder. It's just not that straightforward. And after years of performing blocks on both sides, what I know is that many people have overlap and there's many, many people who will have a dramatic response after a right side stellate ganglion block and feel very good and the next day we'll come back for a left side SGB and we'll wonder, well, should I, should I do this? I don't know, I feel really good. Um, initially, well, the answer wasn't really clear. So um, a part of that was just learning through experience. At this point now, uh, almost everybody that I know with very few exceptions wants to proceed with a left side block. And in performing this over many years now, um, we know that people will get an additional benefit, the vast majority of people, and it's exceedingly rare for somebody not to gain additional benefit from a left-sided block after a right-sided block. Usually this is performed the next day in my clinic, although sometimes it can be done up to a week or maybe a couple weeks later. It's not clear what that perfect um, interval is between, but certainly the left side the very next day after right-side block is extremely effective. I hope that's helpful. Thanks.